Hey, it's Joel. Today we're going to go ahead and test uh, the Radeon RX 6600 graphics card with a bit of uh, Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. Apparently, after 2021, they got rid of OpenCL support, but I just want to see how it runs. This is just a video that I recorded and edited and, and, and you have on YouTube. I ended up uh, rendering and exporting with the Mac uh, MacBook Air. So here it is, basically a live recording of, of what happens uh, when you use this. Now again, 2021, 2022, I don't know if that has even support for OpenCL, but in case you're wondering, if we go to project settings, we can see that OpenCL is allowed. And then if we go into our preferences and we go back to media, or media cache, one of these, uh, we'll notice that it does actually use H.264, HVAC encoding, and Excel decoding. All right, here goes nothing. It's a short five minute video, um, five minutes, 42 seconds. I just wanna see how fast it runs. Elden Ring test. All right, here we go. 1080p, 60 FPS, nothing special about it, three. Two, one. You're gonna watch it in live time. I did try it earlier, but I was actually wanted to just show you just how OpenCL still apparently works. Because the biggest reason I used NVIDIA was for CUDA, because I thought that there was no other way around it. Now, I understand with DaVinci Resolve, it can use OpenCL, but the reason I, again, I stuck with NVIDIA was strictly because it has the best CUDA performance. Well, because NVIDIA obviously is CUDA, has the best performance for rendering with graphics cards. But this is impressive for me personally. I, I mean, if I'm really gonna lose out on a minute and a half of, of rendering for a five minute video, I don't really wanna do the math on it. Um, but basically we're looking at not that much time of, of just strictly rendering. I mean, this video has been going for the past two minutes and 22 seconds. And again, people say you have to have an NVIDIA graphics card to render and export with Adobe Premiere Pro. And maybe it is with, uh, with 2022, but with 2021, which is the version I'm still probably gonna stick with, if this is the only way to do it, I'm gonna stick with 2021. Um, yeah, if this, is how you, if this is the only way to render out with this video card, I'm gonna do it. Now, keep in mind, uh, it is, looks like, you know, we are getting some issues there. It's stuck at 66%. I'm not really sure what's going on with 66%, uh, but it is, it is rendering it out. It's taking a bit longer, but I wanted to just show you a real live performance test of how it's going to be if you wanted to render with this card. Obviously, CUDA will be better. Of course, NVIDIA cards will be better. The NVENC encoder is phenomenal. But I got a really, really good deal on a 6600. Um, basically, the, I'd swap a monitor and some cash and, you know, there you go. Didn't pay that much, realistically speaking. I was selling my 1440p monitor anyways, and I'm sell using my other 1440p monitor, the one I have from work. So, realistically speaking, this is not bad at all. Uh, it's at 69A. Um, it is stalled. It is stalled. So it makes me wonder if it's, I have too many layers, but if we were to just do a straight render, I wonder how it would be, because I don't know how long it took to render this out on the M1 MacBook Air, from the, the 2020 MacBook Air. Um, so it could have been a lot longer. Uh, but if we take a look right now at OBS, how we're doing, we're still sitting at, you know, we've been rendering for about four minutes. So it, I could be wrong, and it could be the beginning of it that takes it's, it's a shorter amount of time. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure why it's taking this long. But still, you know, we're basically basing it. I, I believe it might actually, you know, AMD might be using um, or OBS might be using the, the video card to render. But again, I don't want to make a new video and test it and be like, okay, you know, that's what it was. So one minute, nine seconds. 73. So we are kind of stuck. So I would still say that, of course, you know, NVIDIA are going to be perfectly fine. But if this is a thing where I can just get up, walk away, have a glass of coffee, use the bathroom, 
uh, come back, video is done rendering. I'm not going to complain about that, especially when you're working on bigger files, right? Back in the old days of the old Pentium 4s and the dual cores and the Core 2 quads and things like that, video rendering was, was relatively difficult, and that's why we rendered at 720 or 480p just to get you know ourselves to the the point where you know because that's that's all we could do because most people couldn't even handle a 1080p video let alone 4k now this is this is all this footage is all 1080p so it's fine um again not really sure why it's slowed down but again this was just a, a real live demonstration of how this graphics card performs with exporting in adobe premiere pro again as i mentioned before you're gonna want a card that has CUDA acceleration, you know, namely, a, like I said, a, a GeForce GTX card. Um, I've got a Quadro here, uh, M2000, that I can go ahead and test with later on. Um, I kinda don't want to, because it's just a pain in the butt to get drivers sorted out. But overall, I'm not disappointed in the performance of this. It's still rendering with a GPU. And the video is, five minutes and 42 seconds long so of course it would take a bit of time uh we have hit six minutes at this point we're getting to that point where it's about a minute per per finish minute and that's starting to make me wonder so at this point there isn't really a whole lot to say it's just kind of waiting i thought this would have been a shorter video to be honest with you but Again, live, live, uh, live render of a, a video that I have made. It's interesting to see just how slow it can be. It's interesting. Very, very interesting. We eighty four percent. I can promise you the MacBook would probably be a heck of a lot faster. Oh, we went down a second. Oh, we went down a couple seconds. There has to be a... Oh, we went down a second. There has to be a, uh, a rhyme and reason of why it takes such a long time. Yes, we use maximum render quality. So that might be the issue. It's, it's a very pos strong possibility that that's the issue because it's maxing it out. But regardless, we can see how long it takes to render out a five, almost six minute video. All right, we can see it's significantly going down, which is good. 29, 28, yeah, it's, it's, it's going down. So I think what happened was we were stuck on that, on that video file. I'm not really sure what it was. So we're going to try something else here in a second. Uh, maximum render quality might not be the, our best friend here. So we're going to try out a different idea as well. Again, won't stop the video until it's, uh, until it's rendered out. Now it's going to the SSD. So it could be the issue too is that the drive that it's writing to is, is you know slower because it's the same drive. All right, OBS is saying we've been recording for eight minutes. And we render for that amount of time. Okay, so we have rendered it out. Video looks to be uh, done correctly. So that's good. All right, we're gonna do one more test. Let's see if we can get it to render out Elden Ring test two, and we'll just put this in lower quality. We're not gonna do maximum quality on this one. And we're gonna see if this one runs a lot better. It looks like we've got a bit of an issue here. That's all right, you can see how long it took. See you later.